The Oxitel is our newest tier 5 Valentine's creature. It just came out and I uploaded a showcase video on it by the way if you guys want to check that out. But this creature is actually really easy to get so all you want to do is just go on missions over here and go on event, scroll down to Oxitel's and it's the Rose Garden event basically. So I'm going to start from the bottom. You have to kill 5 tier 4 plus creatures as a photo carnivore. So the best thing about this mission is that these tier 4 plus creatures can be babies. So you could just kill like baby Corthos, baby, I don't know, any baby tier 4 or 5 creature. And it's going to count. So to find the photo carnivore, you basically just go on creatures and go on photo carny over here and you'll find a photo carnivore that you have. Hopefully you do have one so you can kill some creatures with it. If you don't, you can buy a trial. But I think the best creatures for this, like out of all of these, are Nolamoth and Freyrenili. I don't know about like the other ones because it's like pretty difficult to kill creatures with the Venuel. But yeah, Nolamoth and Farinelli, they're fast and they're pretty decently strong. You can kill all the babies and whatever. So there is no secret method if you guys think that's what you're going to find because there's no secret fastest method. I'm just going to tell you guys like the fastest way you can get it basically, but it's not like faster than the normal method. This is just for the people who basically don't know how to already get it. But yeah, this baby high goes for example, if I kill this guy as a photo carnivore. It's gonna count. So the mission also says heal 200 bleed. Now this is the hard part because you're obviously getting it, have to get into a lot of fights and whatever. So what you can do is two things. Either get an alt account and bite yourself, deal some bleed with like a Magna Rothis, which is uh, just a creature that costs like 10 mushrooms in the trial and deals like a lot of bleed. But yeah, just hit yourself, heal it, and then hit yourself again, whatever, and then you can get the mission done easily. But getting it off of random people, it's a little bit hard. And the second thing you could do is just invite a friend over, tell him, hey, can you help me and whatever. Just get a friend to help you with the missions. Just let him attack you as a creature that deals bleed. And then you could just heal it over and over, blah, 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 until you, until you heal 200 bleed. And then complete Rose Garden matching minigame. For the people who can't find this or don't know how to do it or... Okay, what it is, it, it, it's basically the um, marks around the map, the orange marks, these ones over here. It's good that they're marked though, but I'm at one right here, like right in front of me. You're going to find these little roses, right? And then it's going to say Rose Garden minigame. Oh god, okay, this is like the worst timing ever. Okay, basically you start the minigame and you have to match the stuff or whatever. You could just spam buttons, yeah, until you get like, until you find two of the same thingies over here, as you can see. Like, look at this. I'm insane. See, this isn't luck. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just different. Yeah, but basically, I just completed it once. It also gives you petals and roses and whatever. But every time, okay. Every time you complete the mini game, it actually gives you a small, a really small chance to give you the Oxitalis right away without completing like the entire mission. So yeah, and there's a five minute cooldown for each time you do the mission. Obviously, you can't spam this, so, so it takes a minimum of 50 minutes basically of of doing the missions. So you could just do it while I guess surviving as a creature or something, and then every time the five minutes pass, you just do it again. There's a chance you get the petals and you always get the roses from the mini games. But basically there's a brewery over here at Flower Cove which is over here and this is where you use the rose petals and whatever and there's also these things around the map that you can collect. But at the orange mark here there's a brewery, right? You give this thing this maple ingredients and these ingredients have to be one lovely letter, one chocolate ingredient and one rose petal. Now I think the chocolates you get them all around the map and whatever. The lovely letters you collect them, I don't remember from where honestly, but but the, the rose petal you get it from the rose mini game by the way. And I think it gives you a surprise and there's a 10 minute cooldown for each time you do it. I'm not sure what they can give honestly, but I heard it gives the rose vine plush. But that's pretty much all you need to know about the Oxitalis. It's pretty easy to get actually, surprisingly easy. And if you guys want to know if it's worth it or not, you can check my showcase while you wait or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and maybe subscribe because I will be posting more.